Okay, so I'm here with one of the uh, people that helped me with my pizza, the lady who cooked it for me. The other lady, Kim, was uh, feeling a bit under the weather, so she didn't want to come on, but I've got Gloria here. She's a beautiful lady, and she's very... Take a look at this lady. I mean, look at how, the, how beautiful she is, and she is so nice. What do you think would the world needs more of, Gloria? Love. Love, exactly. Okie dokie. And you, <laughs> and you give love when you're when you're when you were helping me. You were just so nice and and, and uh, helpful, and and you just made me feel good, you know. And I really appreciate that. Um, how do you feel about working here? It's a challenge. It's a challenge because of the people, right? Mm, I wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll yeah. just we'll just leave it there, right? No, Unless you, you want to get in depth with it if y'all want oh, to. You, you, I ain't never scared. You're never scared? <laughs> I ain't never scared. What if What if your boss sees it? My boss would be all right. All right, it's well. Time for new changes. All right, you it's say what you want to say. You say what you want to say then. Um, I think that it's harder working with people that look like me because we don't work together. That's our problem. Oh, no. Yeah, we don't have no unity. We don't believe in culture. What, hap never what happened? To, uh, what, what happened to the the culture that Dr. King uh, tried to create? The culture that Dr. King tried to create? Yeah. No, you know. that was an illusion. Of Are you culture. serious? I say that because it's what we wanted. It's what he thought of, and that was what he pictured. That was the idea that he had. Okay. But it didn't go that way. You know what I mean? Because mm. look what we taught. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then we only know what we taught, so that's our culture. Wow. And then we get talked down upon by reacting out what we see and what we live every day and like held accountable for what we become because of our environment. And our environment is our culture. But most people is born with a culture. But we the only people in the whole world that don't have a culture. That don't wow. have a legacy or something that we can say this is what my parents did, my great great parents did, or most of us don't know what that means. So, can you make your own culture though? You can, but it'll, it's the only reason why it's hard because you got a lot of you got a mass of people that don't even know what that means. So, right, you can't be. It's hard for you to be something that you're surrounded by a lot of people that's not that. That's fair. So it's kind of like. If you're in a if you're in a river and the water's going this way and you're trying to swim upstream against the currents, it's gonna be hard, but it's possible. But it's hard. So if you were asked to try to help people to create a unified community, what would you say would be the most important principles? And obviously love is gonna be number one on the list. Yeah. But you what else knew would that was gonna be my answer. Oh, of course. What else would there be, do you think? Um for us, mm -hmm. for us as a people, it's unity. That I agree with you. It's unity. Because if we can't come together on nothing, we can't have a foundation. We can't build nothing. And yeah. we, we don't have anything solid that's ours that belongs <clears throat> to us because we don't have no foundation. And we don't have no unity and we don't work together. Everybody is always teaming up against each other. And yeah. this person like this person, that person like, I don't care if I don't like you. If we can work together and create something, mm. I can be in the same space with you, not like you, but accomplish a goal with you. That's what we lack. I like that. Mm -hmm. You have a, a good attitude and you have, a, I think you have the, um, the makings of a leader. And not to mention that you're a very nice lady. Thank you. And clearly you're intelligent as well. Mm. Because, you know, I don't think that a lot of people would be able to, to say what you're saying and really be able to understand and, and uh, to try to create something like that. You know, a lot of people are kind of trapped in their own drama, you know? That's our problem. Oh yeah. We have our own drama that we trap in, as well as what we see every day. What when you say what we see every day, what do you mean by that? Uh, social media. Mm. Mm, if you, most kids, most of our kids are always looking at their phone. Um, we always watching TV. Everybody in the world watch TV. Everybody in the world get a perception of who we are by watching what they see on TV. 
it's never like like how we're having an encounter. Yeah. If you might have met, if you probably wouldn't know me, you would probably automatically assume what you see if you never met me or you've never been to America, you will automatically assume that I'm what you see on TV because of mm. how I look and how you've been taught growing up as a person somewhere else. And then me being here, and then you look at me and then it kind of fit the description because I might be a little bit turned up, a little bit hood, a little bit crazy. <laughs> like my friend right here, what's up? I'm making a oh, YouTube no. video. You yeah, we making a video. What's up, what's up, what's what's up, up with just my buddy right here? Hello. He just walked past and laughed with me every now and then. Anyway, yeah, so this is something I always wanted to talk about, but it's so amazing that you, it's like everything is divinely guided right now. Okay. This well, moment right now. You have more you want to tell me? Yeah, uh, with our culture, like we don't, we, what we, what you see around the world is what they perceive of who you are. Because if I've never encountered you <clears throat> as a person or somebody that looked like you, and all I ever seen was watching somebody on TV that looked like you all the time, and this is the projection that they give me of you, right? Then I'm automatically assume that this is how you are and your people are. You know what right. I mean? Right. You get stereotyped. Yeah. So that's basically it's like it's like a it's like a cultural thing that we've been every a, a perception that we're given, but we don't get a say so in that in that vision that everybody else sees of who we are. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I don't know if I'm my brain be going so I be having so much going on in here. I could do a whole vlog about this for real because our people we need help. We need help. We suffer big, big bad. Well, you know there and are. We don't believe in therapy or none of that. We mental health is real. No Mr. therapy? I'm 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 just now I'm forty two years old. I'm you don't 42. look forty two, you look younger. Thank you. I drink water, that's another thing. That's good. I'm forty two years old and I've ne I'll never hear us or my people talk about therapy or mental health. Really? And that's surpri right. that's surprising to you because that's a big thing for your family. Is making sure that your kids and your children and your family members are mentally stable. Most of us don't think about mental health. We just live in day to day. You know, I mean, like, it's part of, it's not, we don't have no culture. We don't have no, nothing to say. This is what we've been passed down from generation to generation to, <clears throat> it's, it's kind of, when I realized that it made me cry. It made wow. Me, it made me, it made me cry. It still does because I come to work every day and I see how, we, we all over the place. We can't work together as a unit. Like, that's my biggest issue when I come to work. Do Anywhere you, I've ever worked. Do you think if I, that... If I work with people that look like me, there's always going to be some chaos. There's always going to be some drama. There's always going to be something. Do you think that's a manifestation of the um, the problems in the community? I mean, like, a, a, as a whole. I mean, not, not like a... I'm not saying like a community where there, there are black people, but a community where... There are a lot of there's a lot of drama going on, so people kind of like fall into that and, and I think get trapped. that just play a part of it, but it ain't all the reason why. Okay. Like I think the reason why is much bigger than that. It's like much, what do you mean? It's a cultural it's it's deeply rooted. It's like in our DNA. You know what I mean? Like we ain't never not having a culture. If I if I could sum it down to one thing is not having a culture. Okay. Not having no culture. Nothing to say to call our own, no foundation. We African and American. Tell me where that makes sense at. And then if you think about it, when people when people can look at they so like when you're a kid and you can look at your future, you can look at your your family ancestors and be like, oh my dad, he was the late uh, king, somebody, or you know like my grandfather invented this. You know, just imagine if you can't never show your kids that, or you don't have anything for them to. And then it's like we just going on day to day without even thinking about that. What we want to teach our kids. How do we want them to grow up? What do you want them to learn? What do you want them to become? What is your purpose? What's their purpose? And so lately I've been asking myself those questions. And I made my purpose to be love. I want to I want to be the love that I don't see. I, everything, okay. like me working around an environment of people that's that's chaotic. I want to be the calmness in the chaos because I choose what I want my environment to be like while I'm in that space. That's, that's beautiful. That's well said. And I respect you. Okay.
you're obviously somebody who's striving for more, mm -hmm. striving for a better place for yourself and a better place for your people. Mm -hmm. I mean, to me, your people are my people because I look at, uh, we're all humans, you know? We're all humans. But I, I totally get what you're saying. I think that you have, you've got something and I think that you should put it on YouTube and share it with everybody, spread that love around the world. I think that you ha you can do that. And I think I, I could too. I, I mean, I'm serious. I'm totally Period. serious. Yeah. Okay. All right. Y'all better give me a thousand. Y'all better make me go viral. <laughs> All right. We'll do, we'll do our best, okay. Gloria. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you so much for being on nice my to video. Meet you too. You, you take have a care. And as I was putting together this video, I was uh, smiling and nodding my head as I was listening to Gloria. What an amazing young lady she is. And it was such a pleasure to get to know her a little bit um, while I was at the Cincinnati airport. And uh, I really hope that she does do something on YouTube to try and um, build a community, to build a, a culture, to to unify the the people that she feels need to be unified. And um, I, and I think she can. I think she's got uh, a, a good heart. And uh, Gloria, I'm so sorry I didn't get this out uh <laughs> When I said I was going to get it out, I'm, I have a bit of anxiety about doing editing, and I was looking at this. I was like, oh, God, i got to edit this. Uh, um, but anyways, yeah, so it's all edited. It's only uh, a week and a half late. Sorry about that again. And, Gloria, all success to you, sweetheart. You are an amazing human being, and I'm sure people are going to love you. Thanks for watching, folks, and have a great day.